Hi guys, and uh, welcome to this quick tutorial on navigating using waypoints. Okay, so the first thing to know is how to get to your uh, navigation menu here. So on the um, display here, if you click the middle button here, it'll say menu. I'll just uh, demonstrate that. Menu, if it's not in the menu already, and the map button there and that will give you your uh, navigation um, on your HUD here gives you this line here when you're in nav mode to show you where you need to be heading um, other information it gives is the distance to the waypoint um, and if we look down here on our display You'll see here it's giving you an estimated time to the waypoint and the heading of that waypoint. And it also gives you your speeds, your current heading, and you can change the scale on this as well. So we can scale it up to 50. And under there is actually our marker coming closer. And we are scaled up to 100, we can see our destination there. But you can scale that to anything you desire. Now, the next thing to know is how to change your waypoint. It's very simple. If you come over here and select the, uh, we can navigate the waypoints up. We can navigate the waypoints down. You can see the headings changing there, and the time it would take us to reach that is also changing. Uh, so you need to cycle right to the end and right back again, it doesn't uh, continue over and go back to one. And it's as simple as that, so we've got a marker for waypoint one, we don't want to go there anymore, we want to go to waypoint two, and you'll see the markers changed. And all we have to do is bank our aircraft round until we are almost coming round for 066 degrees. Just about there, 0807, 066. Okay, and that will give us our distance. And we've got an estimated time of arrival on there. Simple as that, nothing else to it. Very easy to do. And like I said, the way to get to that menu is menu. EHSD and there we go have it on both screens so whatever screen you prefer to have it on nice and simple fire it up um, the nav mode works great even if you're in vstall mode you will still get information on your your waypoint and your current heading there so we've come off our waypoint a bit we can just come back onto it And the same if we go to air to ground mode, you don't get as much info, but you still get the little marker to show you where, where you want to be heading. Okay, that's it for this one, nice and quick, and um, we'll catch you for Takan next.